today is the day I'm back with a vlog. This slab is turning into a shop. All right, today is the day. We went and like ordered our shop the end of March. Um, originally, like our projected build date was gonna be like the like beginning to middle of August. And then they just kept like progressively moving it up as we got things done because other people that were ahead of us were not getting their things done. So today is the day that they're coming to start all the framing and all the, the walls and, and all the things. So I have to do a half day at my job and then I'm gonna be back and it's supposed to be a four day build and I'm gonna be here for most of it and we're gonna talk about it all. Day one progress. We've got framed building, posts in for the lean, and they're coming back Monday. This is insane. When I got home, there was only three walls up, the two sides and the back one, and then I came out a couple hours later, and there's trusses, and there's a front wall, and there's everything's framed out. It's crazy, absolutely crazy. So, filming didn't go as planned. So here we are at the end of day three. Um. Most of the tins put up, we're waiting on the doors. We're finishing the inside, so the inside's not gonna be finished, but let's do a little walkthrough. So, man door to get into the main shed. The big garage door will be coming. It's just on back order. Um, and then inside, I mean, it's just open. We have a floor drain, and we'll be finishing the whole inside ourselves, because it's an arm and a leg to get it done um, by the, the place that's doing it. So anyway, nice and open. And then this door right here goes into the goat area or like the little critter area. Um, purpose of it was for our goats, but yeah, this is it. So this is 12 by 48, this whole length. So it's so over this wall just for some brightness in here. There will be lights in here, but they asked us if we wanted this wall to be white tin instead of like the red and brown, um, just to make it a little bit brighter, which is perfect. And then there's two little framed out openings that are 36 inches for the goats to come in and out, one for the girl's side, one for the boy's side. And then out these, there will be their pens. So they're gonna have their own little home. And for ease of cleaning it, there's an eight foot um, like roll up door that's gonna go on it. But like I said, the doors are on back order, so it's gonna be a while before we get those. We're hoping in the next couple weeks. And then they just have some finishing up to do because that side's gotta get tinned on the outside because the tin was cut wrong initially, it sounds like. But they'll be back to finish it. That's the update. That's the shop build up um, on the shop build for now it'll be a couple weeks before they're back to finish so like the finished shop will be in another vlog and right now i am out to give one of the calves a bottle we had twins um like one of our last cows that calved we bought a hereford um and she had twins which is great um and really they're about a month old, but the one, the little bull calf, she had a bull and a heifer calf and the little bull calf is just not getting enough. Um, so we yanked him today and we're trying to get him started on bottle. He's doing fine. It's just that he's not getting enough and I don't want to chance it. Um, so we're gonna bottle feed. Aside from that, before I go get started on getting the calf fed, we've got three cows in here that are going to the sale barn tomorrow. Um, they're just cull cows. This one, she's actually, I really, really like her. She just, she's a big girl and she's an old girl and we're kind of thinking that she's a free Martin. Um, she doesn't look like she's ever had a calf. And then that black white faced cow, she lost her calf. Yeah, she lost her calf this year. And last year she had her calf super late and it's just way too far out of our breeding window. And then that other one back there, that red and white one, that's a Angus Longhorn mix. And she is just not a very nice girl. She's gotten to be really respectful of the skip and really respectful of us, but she's not a good girl. She's very, old, like too protective. She's way too overly protective. She's mean, um, she'll pick on like the weakest link uh, 
We have a, a very small black white face out there that ended up when we caught these cows in here with them and she just beat the crap out of her for the 10 minutes that she was in here with that cow and we were trying to get them all separated. So she is going down the road and I'm not really sad about it. But it's kind of cool because we got our tub and shoot system up in the last couple weeks so we've gotten to use it. We've gotten to use it and tomorrow when they load out, they're gonna load out right from the chute into the cattle trailer which is going to be so nice because usually it's a rodeo it has been a rodeo in the past because you have to back the trailer in like through here and then set up panels and this that and the other thing but now we just this is going to run them out of the chute it is causing a little ruckus here though because th those cows that are in there they're all tall they're all really big girls and the gate that is up against that wall is like a little bit low, so we had to put hay bales here. But all these jerks are trying to eat them. You're gonna get your head stuck in there, donut. But it's literally only for like 12 more hours and my dad will be here to pick them up. And they'll be down the road and then these bales, well, some of them will go back and then one of them will get fed out. Here's our little guy. Buddy. he's real quiet still um so i mean he probably drank a little bit from his mama today i mean we know he's been drinking it's just not enough he's not as big as the other twin so that's what's making us nervous all right dude you want to try this bottle again should we try it out He's kind of drinking it. <clears throat> it's only the second time that we've tried to give him a bottle, but he's kind of, kind of wanting to suckle on it. He took a little bit of that, not a lot. <clears throat> I didn't push him too hard because I think like he still just had drank throughout the day today. So. Tomorrow morning will probably be a different story. Um, I just had to get all these cows um, out of that little catch pen because they were trying to eat the bales, which I can't blame them for trying to eat those bales that are up against the fence there. But um, <laughs> like they were like really just like reaming on the fence. That's donut. That's my best girl donut. Uh, so anyway, I grained them and Got them out of there and went and tied the gate shut. So now they're out of there and hopefully they don't get back in there because when we got the bull here, he literally just tried to walk right over that fence. He did, he literally walked right over it. It wasn't tied super well and I have it tied pretty darn well, but he just walked right over it, right through it. Nothing was stopping him. So anyway, that's about it for tonight. I'm going to make sure that little guy is okay, and then I'm gonna head inside the next evening. And he drank a quarter of a bottle. <laughs> he's drank a little bit off and on, but this is the first time that he's actually drank and drank again. So I think we're golden. This is, does oh, he want some more? Does he want some more? Yeah. We'll get you okay. He's drinking pretty good. It's like another quarter of a bottle. That ought to give him a little pick me up. Yeah, when you go, I'll probably make him another one. That's good. I was a little nervous that he wasn't gonna. I just wanted to be Yeah. So look at kippies. You want some milk too? Almost. <laughs> I like that. that he knows how to drink now um because that first night you just never know but he knows what a bottle is which makes me very happy so I'm shutting these gates because the cows that were in here 
went to market today and I was lucky enough to be able to um, see them uh, during my during work because I just I can put it on my phone on the app so then I can see but you like you have to watch otherwise you'll miss it so <clears throat> um, one of the cows went through um, one of the cows went through and then two others went like an hour later that's just about it EJ is just unloading some hay that was made this weekend and that's all I'm gonna feed the goats and I think that's gonna be it for this one so if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys next time.